Hello, this is Bob Ganesi. I've joined. We're just getting ready to open it up. You are on Google. <laughs> My gavel. Calling to order the Fraser Planning Commission regular meeting. Today is Wednesday, May 26, 2021, 6 32 p.m. Could I have a roll call, please? Margaret Bowles, Katie Souls, Gene Walter, Arnell Quinn, Philip Vanderneel, Sam Brewer, Bob Ganesi. So um, who wants to make a motion to approve the agenda? So move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Um, how about approving the minutes from March 24th? That's the consent agenda. Oh, can we do them both at once? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So how, uh, can I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. All those, oh, second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Dun, dun, dun. Aye. Aye. Okay, I, 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 I make a, I move to enter into an, an executive session for a conference with the town attorney for the purpose of receiving legal advice on specific legal actions under CRS section 24-6-4024B regarding Willow's apartments, including town, town attorney, Rod McGowan, interim town manager, is Wes is not here. Wes Levanchi, he's not here though. Town planner, Catherine Trotter, um, town clerk, Antoinette McVeigh, assistant town manager, Michael Brack. Have I missed anybody? So, okay. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And as town attorney, this is Rod McGowan. I know for the record that my understanding is that the entire discussion in executive session will be within the scope of the attorney client privilege and therefore need not be recorded. That's not me on there. That's, That's handy. Jamie on my. Uh... <laughs> to start or to Rod? Yeah, you can turn it over to me, Jean. That'd be great. If, if that's okay, Rod. Sure. Okay. So the matter before the planning commission tonight is the preliminary plat and the final plan for the Will Willows Apartments at Grand Park. And that's planning area 2W.1 and 2W.2 of the Grand Park PDD. And um, there wasn't a whole lot of information in the packet. And the reason for that is that we have confirmed with the applicant that the notices were not sent out to adjacent properties owners within 200 feet of the subject property 14 days in advance of tonight's hearing. Um, and that notice needs to be sent certified mail return receipt requested. So according to the land development code section 19.1.2.115a, um, the planning commission has the authority to either deny the application or, or continue the public hearing until the required notice is given. Um, and that's because the town did publish notification in the newspaper about the public hearing tonight but the applicant did not notify the um, adjacent property owners in accordance with the land development code. And Rod McGowan is present at the Fraser Town Hall and I apologize for not being there. My oldest daughter is graduating from Boston College this week, so I am not in Colorado, but Rod McGowan is present. Thank you, Rod. And he will expand on staff's recommendation, please. Madam Chair. I'll turn it over to Rod. Thank you. Um, I would state uh, to the commission that um, it's with some hesitancy that staff uh, is recommending that you go ahead and deny the application 
at this meeting uh, tonight uh, and ask the applicant to resubmit to correct certain defects that we've noticed uh, in the application. Specifically, the most uh, important app, uh, defect we've noticed is relating to the legal description and uh, the graphical um, final development plan that was submitted in April with this, uh, by the applicant. Uh, that particular document and the legal description uh, has the effect of incorporating parts of uh, planning area 23W that was intended to be part of the Cousins Meadow open space area into the development area, specifically along uh, uh, Old Victory Road uh, within uh, the apartment uh, development that is proposed. This, uh, we believe, is contrary to the clear intent of the 2003 annexation agreement relating to this property and the two PDD plans that uh, have been approved for this property, the first one uh, in 2003 and the second one in 2005. Um, those plans and the annexation agreement, uh, specifically the annexation agreement in section 10.1, 10.10, uh, I'm sorry, provides, uh, and I quote, the developer further agrees to place in a conservation easement the open space parcels designated on the 2003 PDD as Elk Creek Meadow and Cousins Meadow, subject to agreement with Fraser regarding the use and maintenance of said areas and the exact location and description of such open space parcels consistent with the 2003 PDD. Uh, the intent of that provision clearly was that there would be a contiguous uh, parcel uh, of open space in Cousins Meadow designated as 23W that would be placed in a conservation easement. By splitting off pieces of uh, 23W in Cousins Meadow and putting them within the apartment project uh, would defeat um, that intent of the uh, uh, PDD and annexation agreement. So again, it's our recommendation that the Planning Commission go ahead and deny the application with the, at this time, uh, subject to the developer's right to resubmit. And we would certainly recommend that if uh, resubmission is made, that those defects that I've noted be corrected on the plans so, and that the uh, notice be appropriately published and sent with a correct legal description so we don't have a, a problem with those, uh, the public hearing later on. If the Planning Commission were to go ahead and continue the public hearing to say June 23rd, which would be the next Planning Commission meeting, and if those problems are not addressed prior to that Planning Commission meeting, then we have not only, uh, if the Planning Commission were to deny the application at that time, then the developer would not, uh, would have to resubmit at that time and resend the, and republish the notice, which would further delay the process rather than resubmitting now and proceeding in a correct fashion. So um, that is the staff's recommendation at this time. And I, uh, Madam Chair, I think it, it'd be appropriate to let Mr. Uh, Lipscomb respond. Although we've, we're not proceeding with public hearing tonight, we certainly can have his response to staff's recommendation. So and just to clarify, it's we're not proceeding with the hearing. We're gonna hear what clerk has to say and we're not going to have any conversation amongst uh, our, us, the planning commission. Hi, right, Clark Lipscomb for the record. Um, yes, our planners uh, neglected to get notices uh, sent and we notified the town the day after they missed the notice uh, and requested a continuance of the hearing. Something that's happened many times uh, when the towns made similar mistakes of publishing. Um, I've never heard of a denial happening seems the staff, in my opinion, is taking this as an opportunity to circumvent the process. Uh, this is an advisory committee. You guys haven't seen the plan. You don't know even what you're talking about, I don't think, um, because I don't think it was in your packet. So we think Rod is wrong. We think staff is wrong. Uh, we think they are neglecting how much open space we have on overall project and completely ignoring the town code which actually supports how this project's developed. Uh, the densification of this project, which is something that Rod and Catherine are encouraging and utilizing the full 75 foot height, compacting the site, 
uh, adding in much, much more density than is on this current plan is not something that we're really interested in doing. We think this layout is very, very appealing and complementary to what's happening around it and benefits the adjacent neighbors in a substantial fashion, as opposed to the manner in which Rod and Catherine are encouraging us to densify the site. So uh, again, with all due respect, uh, we our lawyer has written uh, several letters to Rod uh, regarding this particular matter. And Rod has yet to respond with a specific area in the annexation agreement or the PDD that does not allow the manner in which we laid this out. Moreover, I would like to point out that we've been in this process for a very long time. We've encouraged collaboration. We've wanted to have collaboration. We've wanted to sit down and go through sketch plans with staff, but we were told submit complete, complete plans. We don't want to collaborate. We talked about this at the last planning commission where I talked about us designing in a vacuum. I'm sorry, Rod and Catherine don't like the plan. We like the plan. It's in compliance with the annexation agreements. It's in compliance with the PDD. It addresses an enormous community need that has existed here since the 80s. 204 apartment units, long-term rental apartment units in a great location for it. So it would be very disheartening and disappointing to see this planning commission one, not have the information even look at it to know what you're talking about, to send us packing, circumventing the process uh, based on a lawyer's opinion of planning and your other staff member that is a planner. And I think that this should be continued so that you can see the plans and what's put together. It's a great plan. It's good for the community. And I, somebody should do some math on open space and read the town code that discourages what Rod McGowan, your town lawyer, and Catherine Trotter are encouraging. It is exactly opposite of what is in your town code. Specifically says not to have mass open spaces and to create open space corridors to out communities. It opposes the densification of parcels. So I, I really hope the Planning Commission does the right thing here, continues the hearing. It's unfortunate that we missed a notice date. Uh, we made our best efforts to let the staff know right away that we missed that date and requested the continuance to June 24th. Uh, we don't really want to jeopardize uh, this project's uh, situation with the HUD, HUD uh, which we're fearful uh, long continuance, a denial, a resubmittal, which I'm not clear anybody understands how that might even happen, uh, will probably do. And that would cost the community this project. So if I, I just think this is uh, an inappropriate approach and, and you should be able to see our materials. So we, we would request that you continue uh, the hearing and look at the project and give the project uh, give the project a chance with your own eyes um, and recognize what it does for our community and, and the need that it satisfies for our community. So voting against this is saying we don't want housing and we don't want to follow our town code relating to open space throughout neighborhoods. I think that's a bad, bad precedence. So that's all. Madam Chair, um, I stand by the recommendation that staff has made. I would note that um, I have corresponded extensively with uh, Grand Parks Council, and I specifically had advised him on at least two occasions that we would be recommending denial of the application if this problem was not addressed. So it's not as if uh, there's been a lack of communication. With that, I would uh, ask uh, the chair if you'd like me to introduce the proposed resolution for denial at this time um, for consideration by the board. Uh, you um, Sure. Okay. 
And again, this is just an introduction of a resolution. You don't have to adopt it. You can decide to adopt it or you can decide to continue. But I did want you to have um, something in writing to consider for purposes of possible denial. Uh, this would be a Fraser Planning Commission resolution uh, number 2501-2021. Uh, Is that correct? It, numbering, Antoinette? So 501-2021. 2021. Is that okay, thank you. Okay. The title reads, A Resolution Concerning the Application of Grand Park Development LLC for Approval of a FPDP Amendment and Preliminary Plat for the Willows Apartments at Grand Park. Paragraph. At the regular meeting of the Fraser Planning Commission held on May 26, 2021, a hearing was scheduled for consideration of a final plan development plan, FPDP, amendment and preliminary plat for the Willows Apartments at Grand Park. And whereas town staff has reported and the Planning Commission determines that the applicant failed to send notice of the application to surrounding property owners at least 14 days in advance of the hearing as required by section 19-1-215 sub A of the Fraser Municipal Code and whereas, pursuant to the provisions of said code section, the failure to provide proper notice is grounds for denial of the application or continuance of the public hearing until notice is provided. And whereas, it is the opinion and finding of the Planning Commission that the application should be denied and the application should and the applicant should resubmit the proposal in accordance with the requirements of the municipal code if it wishes to pursue approval of the project. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Planning Commission of the Town of Fraser, Colorado, Cohen, pursuant to the provisions of said section 19-1-215A of the Fraser Municipal Code, the Planning Commission hereby denies the application of Grand Park Development, LLC, for approval of a FDPDP amendment and preliminary plat for the Willows Apartments at Grand Park, comma, subject to the applicant's right to resubmit the application in accordance with the requirements of the code. That would be the resolution. Do it, does somebody on the planning commission want to make a motion? I make a motion that we extend and continue the conversation with uh, Grand Park on the Willows Apartments until the next meeting or until we can have a special workshop. Does somebody want to make a motion? I got asked for a second. Just I've made a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Aye. Aye. Opposed. Did we hear Bob or was that just Sam? Bob, did you? I I said aye. I, I am in favor of the motion. To oppose or to no. Favor. To, You're in favor. I'm in favor of the motion that was made. Okay. okay. Philip? <sighs> No, nope. there's me. There's you. No. Um, Sam. And Sam. Oh, nope. Sam. Sam. Sam's still here. Sam. Sam. Yes. I'm I'm a no on that motion. I'm a nay. I'm also a nay. So You were a nay, right, Katie? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was. So what happens now? Motion fails. So does anybody else want to make a motion? I moved it. We adopt the uh, resolution 0501-2021 as read by Rod McGowan into the record. Do I have a second? Second. I'd ask for a roll call vote, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Commander Nail, aye. Quinn, nay. Brewer, Souls. aye. Katie. Souls, aye. Souls, nay. Bob? Nay. 
Walter I. So, um, motion to close the public hearing. Do I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. So moved. All those yeah. in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. We still want you back, Clark. We still want you back. Seconded to close the public hearing. I don't know. Can I, I did. Who, who made the motion to close the public hearing? Aiden, did you? Um, I second. Close no, did you make the motion? You may. You may have hearing. to listen. Uh, all right, I no, moved. I, I moved to close the public. Okay. I, there, I think it was two of us at the same time, so I made the motion. Kevin and Katie second. Yes. Yeah. Did you call it up? Yeah. Oh, all those in favor of closing the public Aye. hearing? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we have any other business on the agenda? Oh, I can't hear you, Catherine. Can you unmute Catherine okay. Michael? Yeah, I don't believe um, there's any other business from staff. I have a couple of items. Uh, one thing was, um, I haven't heard anything about uh, the resolution of Hilly's, um, at least in, in the hearings, it may be a, one of the meetings I missed. And I was wondering where we are with that. And the second thing is that uh, as I walk around town, um, the um, oh the facilities people out tending the plants and, and getting us all greened up are doing a wonderful job, and I uh, just wanted to take an opportunity to congratulate that work on the record and um, thanks for making Fraser a, a more beautiful place. On Hillies, it's my understanding that he's no run it, no longer running that operation. Really? That is correct. Somebody else has taken over the garage. Right, correct. That's my understanding as well. And um, the people that are taking over the garage um, will not be buying or leasing the property over on Railroad Ave. Um, so I have spoken to Chris Hillison a couple of times, and my plan was to reach back out to him. Um, the resolution that the Planning Commission adopted was to have a fence erected by June 30th. And if he is no longer part of that operation, um, the conversation that I'm intending to have with him is that he needs to get all of those, those cars off that property if he's not moving forward with erecting that fence, okay. unless otherwise directed by the planning commission. Oh, wonderful. I think somebody's Thank you. living there in a nice trailer. It's got a good view. Is that occupied? West I was facing. wondering. Kind of looks that way. Do we know anything about what's looking like a used car lot there along the railroad right away across from your, your home, Catherine? Um, I think those are vehicles from another, another um, shop in town. And we can get some notification out to garage. them. Correct. Because there's a number of them have no plates on them. So that's what I'm thinking. It looks like they're for sale. We can contact them about that. Any or, or, or contact the railroad, let them take care of it. Yeah. Well, or not. <laughs> or not. I don't like yeah. having all that parking over there. Yeah. <laughs> you want to let the railroad know. Anything else? Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Thanks for hanging in there, people. You, you too. Thank you, guys. My husband, he's on my account. <laughs> All right, Colonel, when are we getting together? Saturday is usually good, Sundays are good. Um, so 
Well, this weekend is busy. Memorial Day. I'll touch base with you next week. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks today. What's up, boss? Yeah. So much for we'll be out of here by seven.